Welcome to this video on equation of a circle. The equation of a circle is used to graph a circle on the coordinate plane. So here's your equation. So let's talk about what these different variables mean in our equation. So first is the h and the k, and if you put those together as an ordered pair, they represent the center of the circle. So in this particular circle, the center is 0, 0, but it can be anywhere on the coordinate plane. And then x and y represent any point on the circle. So if you put those together as an ordered pair, it's any point on the circle. And there are actually infinitely many points on the circle. The one in your example is 2, 2, but it can be any point along the circle. And then r is your radius. And the equation of the circle is actually derived from the Pythagorean theorem. Because if you connect the, the center and one point on the circle, and then I'm going to draw a right triangle here. So if you think about a squared plus b squared equals c squared, so c is your radius, your hypotenuse. And then A and B are your distances. So in this case, the distance of A is 2. And if you think about X minus H, well, X minus H, 2 minus 0 is 2. So that's where the 2 comes from. And the B, well, in this particular circle, it's also 2. Y minus K, so Y minus K, 2 minus 0 is 2. So it fits into the Pythagorean theorem, and it doesn't just work for this example, it works for any circle that is graphed on the coordinate plane. So the equation of a circle is used to graph a circle, but you can also use it to find parts of the circle, such as the center, the radius, or a point on the circle. Alright, so let's try some examples. So in the first set of examples, it says to find the center and the radius of each circle. Okay, so let's scroll back up here. Let me erase this just so we have our equation here. So the center, remember, is H and K. But if you don't see an H and K, and this one doesn't even have parentheses, that means that the center of the circle is 0, 0. Because if I write X minus 0 squared, well, that's just X squared. So just X squared will be written. Your radius is always going to be at the end after the equal sign, and it's going to be the radius squared. So right now, this is the radius squared. If we just want the radius, we would take the square root, which would be 5. All right. In the next example, we do have an h and a k, but if you notice in the formula, it says negative h and negative k. So it's actually changing the signs of both the x and y coordinate of my center. So when I take it out of the equation, it's actually negative 8 and positive 3 for my center. And then again, we're going to take the square root of 100 to give us the radius, which is 10. All right, and then in number 3, my center would be, let's see, I'm going to change that sign to positive 4. Here I don't have a number, so it's going to be positive 4, 0. And then the square root of 1 means my radius is 1. Pause the video and try 4, 5, and 6 by yourself. All right, so let's see how you did. Number 4, you should have gotten oops, positive 5, negative 1 with a radius of 12. Number 5, 0, negative 2. And then this is not a perfect square, so you can just round to the tenths place, 4.2. And then number 6, 0, 0 with a radius of 4. All right, in the next set of examples, we are going to write the equation of a circle with a given center and radius. So remember, the center is my h and my k. My radius is, of course, r. So I'm going to substitute those in to my formula up here. Let's make it bigger so we can see it all at one time. All right, so x minus h, so x minus 0. And then plus 
y minus k, so y minus 0, and notice there's squareds on the outside of the parentheses, equals r squared, so 4 squared. Now, you want to simplify here, so remember I said x minus 0 squared. Well, if you subtract 0 from x, it's still just x. So we can write this as just x squared. Same thing for y minus 0 squared, that's simply y squared. And then 4 squared is 16. All right, so let's try number two. So this is h, k, and r. So again, I'm going to show the formula up here. So x minus 2 squared, I'm just substituting in 2 right here, plus y minus negative 3 squared equals 15 squared. All right, so we can simplify a little bit here. We can't do anything with x minus 2 squared. That's as simplified as it will go. But we know that y minus negative 3, that's really y plus 3 squared equals, and then 15 squared is 225. All right, let's try one more together. So h, k, and r. All right, so x minus negative 7 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 10 squared. And then we can simplify here. x minus negative 7, that's x plus 7. y minus 0, that's just y squared, equals 100. All right, pause the video now and try 4, 5, and 6 by yourself. All right, let's see how you did. I'm just going to put the final answers here. Alright, check your answers. And then let's move on to the graphs. So in the first example it says to graph the circle and we're given the equation. So we need to write out the center and the radius first. So my center would be positive 1, positive 1. My radius would be 3. Okay, so I'm going to graph my center 1, 1. And then remember the radius is just the distance from the center out. So I'm going to count right 3, put a point, up 3 from my center, left 3, and down 3, and just the best I can, that was ugly, let me try again, <laughs> draw a circle, there we go. doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a sketch. All right, and then in the last example, we are given a graph, and we need to work backwards and write the equation. So let's write the center point first, it's negative 1, 0. And then my radius is 2. All right, so my equation would be x plus 1 squared, 0, so just y squared, and then equals my radius squared, so 4. All right, you can stop the video now and go ahead and complete the practice and check it with your teacher.